team, I'm going to tell you right now that I am 100% for diversity in the military. Man, I am all for the infantry. Combined with little field artillery. And joined with air superiority. <laughs> Dominance in the sea. <laughs> and in cyber, in space. Every day it's a new challenge. Warfare engineers are the Navy's hackers. And I think sometimes we are absolutely losing our minds. I'm sure many of y'all... I uh, saw this clip, and if you didn't, here's a little bit of it. I'm Major Rachel Jones, and what pride means to me is celebrating that diversity is our strength as a nation and as an army. Now, before you get this too twisted, look, I, I, I don't know this individual, and I'm sure that he or, or she is a great dude or whatever, um... But I think that we're missing something that should really be celebrated. Like, there are countless warfighters. I think about the Marine Corps, right, which does meritorious promotions. And I think about the Army, which does the best warrior competitions, right, for soldier and the NCO. And these things begin down at, at they should begin down at, at, at least the company level. Uh, for any company that's it's it's worth a shit, and for, in the army side, right, it progresses all the way, you know, to the Department of the Army. And if you look at any of these competitions, you know, it, it just, just think about it at the battalion level, right? Whether you're talking about a meritorious promotion, or whether you're talking about a soldier or NCO of the quarter or year competition, man, these dudes are out there; they're getting after it. They're separating themselves from their peers. Like if you can't find, and I think that's, that's what something that we should be celebrating, are those individuals who say, you know what? Yes, here I am. Send me. You know, you have their immediate supervisors looking down at their performance and their potential and saying, you have what it takes to do something special in today's military. And there are as many as there are battalions, right? Think about it. Hundreds of warfighters across the branches who are, who are separated from their peers. And they're getting out there and they're kicking ass and they are taking names. But we as a whole do not do a good enough of a job of celebrating these warriors, Tell me if I'm wrong. And if you can't find something in these individuals, and you know, that, let me let me take a step back here. So in the '90s, when I was in the Marine Corps, you know, we looked at everybody as being green. And, and I know in today's day and age that you know that that kind of mentality is lost by so many. But you know, we used to because being a warrior was your first identity right being a marine was who you were and are right and yes we had dark green marines and we had light uh, green marines we had bams and i guess we couldn't even we're supposed to call them that uh, even in the 90s so you know we switched it up to to the wms but the point is is that we we celebrated who we were Everything else was secondary. Where you came from was secondary. Your background, not that it wasn't important, not that it shouldn't or couldn't have been celebrated, but these things only mattered in direct relationship to what was important, and that was to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy by fire and maneuver, or to repel the enemy's assault by fire and in close combat that's what mattered 
And if you could make that happen in unique ways, you are going places. And the same is true today, again, because, again, there are hundreds each and every single year of you all out there who are doing just that. And, I, man, I'm stoked for you, and I'm pumped up. And you all grinding out there each and every single day gives this old dude uh, a little bit of hope for our future because you can't stop. Now, when you look at individuals and uh, that we, we, we want to celebrate, and when I say we, I mean the, the, the big we, we find the people who meet a specific image or ideology or perspective or whatever. Man, and I'm all for, you know, whatever somebody is, as long as you can do that one thing that we're supposed to do, right? Which is to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy. But if you look at the people that are being pushed to the front of our imaging, you got folks out there who, but man, there's no stinking way that this individual passes a height and weight test on either our male or female test, right? Let me see that 5,500 or that 5,501. I dare you to show it to me. Like just looking at this individual, at the, even if I wanted to say, and pull up your own calculator and see what percentages that you get. And if you do, leave, leave those percentages down in the comments. Let's say you have somebody who's, you know, a, a major, so, so probably 40-ish years old, right? Maybe has an 18-inch neck. Waist is probably, you know, looking at male standards, waist is probably 39, maybe 40. Height, on average, 5 foot 9 inches, 5 foot 10. Weight, man, that looks to me to, to be at least 225, 235, right? I could be wrong there. I've been wrong before. If you're looking at female standards, the narrowest part of that waist is probably 44 inches. And the greatest part of the of the butt is probably only like, oh gosh, because you got to imagine me. You know, it's kind of kind of pear shape, man. It's going to go down. It could it may be only be you know thirty four inches. It's unbelievable. Like, tell me that we don't have warriors out there who are out there kicking ass and taking names that project the professionalism of the military the profession of arms tell me that we don't have them in whatever background whatever perspective that you want to look at and find they're out there and this is what we're doing i don't get it team i don't get it and i don't know what's going to happen in the future um but i do think that when other folks are looking at, at what we are projecting that they're not seeing the best of us. You know, I was talking to um, a, a, a business owner down the street from me, and he's actually Lebanese. This is a little little side topic, but, you know, I, I think it fits in in a little dog way, kind of shape of way. Uh, so the dude's Lebanese. So as a Marine, you know, I, I got a little hard feelings about Lebanon uh, and Beirut and the embassy bombing and, but this was a good dude, was a family man, uh, had only been in the United States for about three years, had went from Lebanon to uh, Mexico and then up to California and then up here to, to Washington. And we talked for probably like 45 minutes and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, he's like, man, I just don't get it. Like, what the hell is going on? You know, I, I almost got robbed here. And my, my buddy was uh, uh, also a business owner, was robbed, and he used a, a knife to defend himself. That business owner is now still in jail, 
And the guy that uh, was rob, robbing the store is out on the street. He's like, look at all these crackheads. I mean, they're zombies. And they're coming in and around the store, and it's really a challenge to keep myself and my family safe. Now, Stoker, what does this have to, one thing have to do with another? Well, the image that he is seeing of the United States doesn't match what his perception was before he immigrated and came over here. By the way, he, he immigrated the right way, right? He had this idea of what the United States was all about. And what he found was a leftist culture that did not meet his perception. So if you look at the military, you may have this, you know, this idea of, you know, might based off of historical data, right? All of the awesome things that we have, all of the amazing things that we've done since 1776. And so you had this idea from watching movies, from other things that are in the media, stereotypes that we have. And then you see this. Does this m match that projection of who we are, who we need to be? And if not, t tell me why that's being projected. And tell me that you cannot find like if there is a sergeant major out there who looked at that ad campaign or that that marketing article or whatever it is, because ultimately that's what these things are, right? And said, <clears throat> yes, that's that's the warrior that I need in my formation. I admit there's, there, there, there cannot, I, I refuse to believe that any sergeant major looked at that photo or that video and said this is what needs to be on the front page this is what needs to be blasted out there knowing that everybody is going to see that and share it to, to one side or the other right one side is going to share it who, who thinks this is great another side is going to share it who thinks this is craptastic Tell me you can't find the stories that fuse the horizons between both of those ideological perspectives. Tell me that there are not countless war fighters that should be celebrated. This is crazy, team, but I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you chewing the fat with me here. As we all continue to, to master our craft and develop our tactical virtue. Make sure you leave some comments down below. That way we can continue to keep this conversation rolling. As always, until then, you stay out there. You keep grinding and you stay stoked.